his lesson plan but could not implement because of behavioral issues. Sometimes it is just difficult to keep students engaged and on task, especially when teaching virtually. A great strategy to eliminate most minor behavioral issues in the virtual classroom and keep students engaged is through a strategy called opportunities to respond. It's a great way to engage students and keep them actively participating, eliminating most of those minor behavior problems. Opportunities to respond is a teacher behavior that prompts student response. It's done through using response patterns to make sure all students are called on by using choral response where students in class respond in unison or through nonverbal response where students use symbols, tools, or gestures. The great thing is it increases student engagement. It limits student time for engaging in inappropriate behavior and it provides the teacher a form of formative assessment. Did you know that research tells us that teacher talk during instruction should be no more than 40 to 50 percent of instructional time? That means students response should be the remaining time. It looks like this. Teacher provides a prompt, students respond, then teacher gives positive feedback. Now take a look at this passage. You may want to pause the video for a moment to read over how the teacher used opportunities to respond in the virtual classroom. In a short amount of time, the teacher gave the students six opportunities to respond. Teachers should provide a minimum of three opportunities to respond per minute using single student responses, unison responses, or using tools or gestures. There are many ways to implement opportunities to respond. This chart gives other strategies teachers may use in the virtual setting. The benefits of providing opportunities to respond are, the more students are involved, more is learned. Increase in rate of responding and subsequent improved learning tend to increase the amount that can be covered. An on-task behavior and correct response increase while disruptions decrease. It is shown to improve reading and math performance and it provides continual feedback for the teachers on student learning and the effectiveness of teaching strategies. Give it a try. It makes teaching so much easier. It keeps students engaged and on task. It eliminates most all of the minor behavior issues. Plus, it makes learning fun for the students.